All right, let's get to the nuts and bolts of why I'm upgrading my trailer. It's for the new Polaris North Star Ultimate. I'd like to go trail riding. It's always been a dream of mine to be able to do that. And I've only done it like once or twice, you know, like 20 years ago when I had an ATV. So anyways, my aluminum trailer is only a single axle. So it's really pushing it to carry a ton on it. Plus it's getting kind of old. So I figured, uh, let me just look what's available because I would like to go trail riding with this North Star, like on a real trail somewhere and not just in our woods. So join me and I'll give you the details on how it went and if I got affected really badly by Bidenomics or not. So let's check it out. Where's the, where's the GoPro? <laughs> well, <laughs> it all, threw it all out there to see what stick and it all stuck. <laughs> in the aluminum hopefully we'll see what they're gonna give me otherwise I'll try to sell it outright looking at a uh, little bit heavier one because that new Polaris weighs about a ton and this is only a single axle so looking for a dual axle but one that Sharon could also use and these Econo bodies are only supposed to weigh about 1500 you know, the economy means they're uh, using a little thinner steel for the whole thing. So that's where they're getting the weight. But they got 3,500 pound axles. So that's kind of what I'm interested in. I just don't trust this anymore. I mean, just like I said, I hate to hate to have another blowout somewhere or something. So it's time to, it's time to change it in. These really aren't bad. I mean, that they're about 3,300 bucks. Uh, for the little bit better ones about 3700 3800 for a 7 by 16 footer so I'll see which one we can come up with and he's looking what he's gonna give me on uh, trading all right so my trailer was in a little bit of rough shape um, the wires had blown out and I had to have them redone fenders were bent up there was some cracked aluminum welds so I figured they're gonna offer me about a thousand bucks maybe even 800 for a trade-in but to my surprise, and I figured, so all right, I'm going to pay 25 or 3,500 for a new trailer. Gosh, it'd be nice to be out of pocket two grand or less. So to my surprise, he offered me 2,500 bucks for a trade-in on that aluminum one, which I gladly jumped on. Um, so let's see how the rest of this deal shook out. So this is the trailer I'm getting. It's, it's going to be. This is a. I think 18 we're getting a 16 footer so I went with a little bit heavier duty one even though it's still an economy model it's got the round steel tube it weighs about 500 600 more than the real economy one but I mean geez this is a 21 model so the price is 3500 if I get a 22 model 14 footer even shorter it goes up to 5200 so uh this is gonna work out very well we did really well trade in they gave me what i paid for it so we'll have a safer rig now i could take the new polaris uh riding and not have to really worry about it on that other trailer my stuff Ooh. i'm particularly fond of these i pulled them out of a place on midgard called Texas. I even named them Des and Troy. Okay, so by being able to find a 21 model that's been sitting for over a year, yeah, it's a little faded, but I saved thousands of dollars, literally. Um, I had to write a check for $1,400. So I paid $2,495 for that aluminum trailer like 10 years ago. And he gave me 2500 trade in so i mean it is an absolute no-brainer i can carry like more than double almost triple the weight from the aluminum trailer so this was a great deal let's finish it out thanks that just looks pretty man